the final four, UConn Husky versus Iowa, Paige versus Caitlin. We finna get into it. I don't want to hold y'all no longer. Let's go. And this semifinal show is underway. Let's see it. A lot of people are talking about this last play. The last play was controversial. So when I see it, I'm going to ask y'all y'all's opinion on it. So stay to the end so we can see it. Oh, Nitty. Ashlyn Shade is elite in her mid range game. She a freshman. KK Arnold will take the three. Mm. Knock it down. How about the freshman Arnold and Shade? They got two freshmen? They got two starting freshmen. Ooh. She's kind of nice. She's kind of nice. Hang a lot. She has 14 and 10. Nah, she kind of nice. Needing two threes to win the game is insane to me, especially in that, with how basketball is today. For you to be like, if we get two threes, I think we'll win the game is insane. Then most people shoot the oh, the, oh, good finish. That was a good play. That was a good play design. Marshall off to Martin. Martin will drive it inside. Oh, good block. Oh, good save. Uh oh. Uh. Dumping it to Stolke. Stolke looking to take Brady. Stolke insists away. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I know it's going to sound like I'm hating. I'm not even trying to hate because I think she had 40 this season. But I don't know. 45, to me, in my opinion, she shoots too much. I don't know. Like, she shoots shots that are not open. Maybe it's the one game I've seen. Maybe she doesn't normally play like that. Maybe I'm just judging her off the one game. But the one that when I was watching, I was like, that one game I've seen, I think it was either the last game or the game before that. I think it was the game before that. Or it might have been like one of the earlier rounds. I was like, she's shooting shots that are not open. Here's Shane in the corner. Oh, she got the lucky bounce. Here's Arnold flinging it out. Mule will fire. Ooh, they hidden. He got his two threes by her. Hey, face guard. Mm. They trading threes right now. Here's Mule. I haven't even seen a lot of page. Oh, here she comes. Oh, good pass. That was a dime. Oh, good take. I like the fact that Paige didn't transfer like everybody else. Oh, good steal. Another one? Uh, that's not the same one. Uh, it is the same one. I was about to say. Oh, a twelve-point game. Uh oh, they. Uh huh. Uh, uh, easy lay. I was say I was gonna be in trouble. Oh, nice ball fake. Good pump fake. Oh, that was, a, that was a good ball movement. And it was only with them, too, but they would do a lot of ball fakes, pump fakes. When you want it, so, like, I guess the men's, men's basketball is more exciting, right? Because people get punched on and stuff. So that athleticism is, like, through the roof, right? When you watch the women's basketball, it's a whole lot of, like, you see the real fundamentals of basketball. Like, Especially depending on like the players, like Caitlin Clark, 
She has a lot of IQ. Like she, has, she has a high IQ. Like Paige got a high IQ. Ooh. They came back. Oh, good take. That was a good take. Where the games are most fun. Marshall, Three. they could use it. Mm. To start the third, Gabby Marshall rings it. That's a big shot. And that was with a turnover. Backdoor, Arnold. The pass. That was a good cut, too. All right, real quick, before we get to the video, I want to, we got to shout out the sponsor of today's video, Underdog. So, look, Underdog, the fancy sports app. You can do the fancy draft, just like a regular fancy football draft. You do the fancy draft. You pick your players, and you can win money that way. Or my favorite, the pick them entry. You pick higher or lower on a player projected stat, and if you get them right, you win money. And if you pick up to five people and you get them all right, you go 20 times your money, man. You can really you be get, you can get the bag with this, man. So look, since I'm such a real one, use the code Blair. I'll hunt, so if you put in 100, I'll get you another 100 to play with. I want to see all of y'all winning, man. No excuses. Click the link in the description. But I'm going to let y'all get back to the beat. They killing with these back doors. They cooking them back doors. They just said double screen. They getting her open like she's Steph Curry. That was a foul. I don't know how nothing would call. She grabbed her whole left arm or right arm. She grabbed her whole arm. She grabbed her. I've never seen this in my life. I've never seen in my life. They get this hype. I only see stuff like this is like, dude. This man, this grown man got on face paint. He hype for real. She got on face paint. I've never seen, I've never in my life seen that. I've never seen a, a women's college game where the grown adults have face paint. I see the kids have it. Like the students. Oh, she cussing. I see them. Stokey. Trying to get it to Clark. Does her three. Ooh, that ankle. She hit it with the Zaza. That should have been a flagrant. You can't be doing it. That's like the rule. You can't you can't undercut him on the close up. I'm surprised they didn't call like a, a flagrant. The pass. Dang. Everybody getting hurt. Oh, the pass. Oh, this is good. This is gonna be good down to the wire for sure. They keep trading buckets. Midi. Oh, good pass. Oh, good finish. This is a good game. This third quarter winds to a close. Ice High low. That would. This third quarter. Who? Who was I watching? It was the UConn guys. I, their coach was drawing. Uh, what's it called? What's his name? Dan Hurley. That man was drawing some stuff up. I was like, oh my god! I've never seen so many open people in my life. They had six people open. There's only five on the court. Look at the high low. Easy. Nah, that. Nah, what's it called? We're drawing up some plays. That man was drawing some stuff. She's hooping this game. Maybe it, maybe I was tripping. Maybe it was just a bad game that I seen. Because I was like, what is she doing? Like, when I was watching, I was like, she just keeps shooting and she's not open. The behind the back step back three is 
That's tough. That's next level, man. Midi. That's a good shot. A couple of huge mid-range jumpers these last two possessions. He's knocking them midis down. The bigs against that zone are going to be important. Getting the ball in the sweet spots. Clark trying to work Arnold. Oh. Separates it. Dang. Big body. Midi. He got nice form. The smooth stroke. That was smooth. I was expecting that. Okay, still. Uh oh, they going on a run. She got 23. Maybe I was hating. She hit a fade. She hit fadeaways. She's nice. Hey, Martin is cold. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nine point game. Into Edwards, deep catch, working O'Grady. Edwards able to finish. Oh, snap. She was flexing for real. Right now for Iowa. She was flexing for real. She better get every pass. That was a good steal. Three. <laughs> now, Paige, nice. I ain't gonna lie. Paige is nice. And people were talking about it because she got hurt. Now, nah, Paige still nice. Three. Nah, she nice. Nah, she nice. Uh-oh. Fade. She had two fades. She got that little fade away in the game. Okay. Oh, big body. Easy. Lay. And now Connecticut will take a timeout. 15 to shoot. Iowa by four. Martin off the handoff. Martin putting it on the deck. Spin. <laughs> she dancing. She dancing on it. Look, oh. Between. Oh. Spin. Lay. Oh, she cooking. Oh, snap. The pass. <laughs> nah, Paige is nice. Uh, that man Gino, that man Gino set some up right now. Oh. Uh oh. <gasps> oh my God. She finna foul. 40, 45. Ooh. That was a lazy pass. That was a lazy pass. I'm telling you, that 45, she be who she's hooping this game, so I can't. But that was a lazy pass, though. That was a bad. She just underhanded like she wasn't being guarded. She hooping. I will say this, though. She is killing. And it almost, it felt like Kate Clark running time. 10 on the shot clock. Clark waiting. Clark on the move. Finds Stokey. Stokey dishes. It's taken <gasps> away. She turned it over again. Oh, my God. Okay, the, the play, the play's coming up where everyone's having a controversy. I'll put in the comments. I want y'all to put in the comments what y'all think this is. Was this a good call or was this a bad call? I want to see in the comments. Okay, so this. All right, so this is what I think. When you slow it down. Okay, so look. When you look at it like this, full speed, like while it's happening. She lean like. It's supposed to be. So Paige is supposed to set her up to where she doesn't move. She just stays where she's at. Paige is the one supposed to set her up and do this. But she was like hunting the screen, right? Five seconds left. 
So she will she end up leaning. So it it is a foul, I think. I think it is. I think that's a, now I don't like seeing them call that at the end of the game to where it decides the game. But I mean, it did look like a foul. I know a lot of people are saying that's a no call. And the only people I see do this is the people in the NBA, like that get away with it. But realistically, what's the call supposed to set her down like into the screen? She's supposed to just stay set. But she's hunting like she's hunting the screen. Like she's hunting, she's hunting um 24 a. Right so she stepped out while she was going. Instead of being set, she took a step and leaned. So technically, I think it's the right call. I wouldn't want them to make that call during the end of the game, but I know if I was playing, I'd want that goal. So I can't be mad at it. I've only seen this happen in the NBA. The NBA, they be letting all type of illegal screens go. Point eight. Dang. They pulled it out. Now, of course, it's a controversial call. A lot of people don't like the call. I did. I don't like that it decided the game, but I mean. If it's the right call, I want the right call more than anything, right? And I can't, it's hard for me to be like, I can see it either way. If if some people are like, is that a foul? I get it. But to me, that was a foul. I'm sorry. I know y'all gonna get on me in the comments. To me, that was a foul though. I, again, I'd rather not see that happen to decide the game, but it is what it is. That's it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, hit the subscribe button. Click the link in the description. Use the promo code Blair. The hunts and match the product up to $100. I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, I'm out. Peace.